I picked up this book from the library and I'm dedicating this reading to my dear friend Dagmar and her grandson Henry and I thought he might really enjoy hearing this story. Hurry Up Henry by Jennifer Lancier, illustrations by Isabel Malenfant. People were always telling Henry to hurry up. Come on, Henry, we're going to be late. We don't have time for this, Henry. We're going to be late. Hurry up, Henry. We're going to be late. Henry didn't want to be late, but he didn't want to hurry up either. Simon and Henry were best friends. They lived in the same building and went to the same school. People were always telling Simon to slow down. Slow down, Simon. Wait your turn, Simon. When Simon came over, they got a lot done. But once the elevator doors had closed behind Simon, Henry would shut the blinds and lie on the floor without moving until it was time for supper. Hurry up, Henry or I'll eat all the food. The only person who didn't seem to mind how slowly Henry moved was Grandma. Grandma never hurried. Sometimes she took more time than Henry. If they needed to be somewhere at a certain time, Grandma made sure they got there. They just left a little earlier. Now, Smart thinking. The day before Henry's birthday, Simon told Grandma he wanted to make Henry the best present ever, but he would need Grandma's help. Grandma thought it was a good idea. One hour should do it. Oh, what are they doing? Are they changing the hands on the clock? Are they putting the hands on the clock ahead. I think they're putting maybe ahead so it seems that it's later than it is. Let's see. The next day everyone gave Henry birthday hugs and then it was time for school. Well, if they said they put it ahead, if this says 830, it might really be 7.30. Let's go, Henry. Hurry up, Henry. We're going to be late. But they weren't. Today, they had time. Lots of time. Lots and lots of time. And nobody had to hurry. Thank you, Henry. Oh, he's giving her a flower. Can we do this again tomorrow? So I I think they changed the time on the clock to show it was ahead, but really it was be real time was behind, so it gave them more time to play. Good thinking, Simon.